It was mostly baseball on the Central Coast sports scene last week. Most area schools were on their spring vacation. The Santa Maria baseball team has not been to the postseason since 2021. The Saints, 12-3 so far this year under coach Matt Olmogware, will be there this time around. Saturday, Santa Maria rooted winless Bakersfield Del Oro 25-1, 11-0 at home in a non-league doubleheader. Both games were called after the fifth inning because of the run rule. There were several noteworthy performances for the Saints. Ruben Guzman is batting .418 for the season, and he had four hits and drove in five runs for the Saints in the opener. Dominic Martin, who is batting .442, went three for three with three RBIs. Julius Medina had two hits and three RBIs in the second game. He's batting .432 on the year. Santa Maria pitchers gave up a total of three hits Saturday. Jordan Molina worked the longest of any of the Saints pitchers. He worked the last four innings of the second game and gave up one hit. Napomo won three of its four games in its Napomo tournament. Ozzy Ortega gave up a grand total one hit in his two appearances, three innings in a win against Los Banos Pacheco and three more in a win over Oxnard Channel Islands. Cabrillo, 15-1 on the year, ran the table at the Napomo tournament, going 4-0. Blake Gregory is one of the top catchers in the area. As a pitcher, the Cabrillo Jr. allowed one hit in his four innings of work against Bachego. Gabe Barraza hit .428 for the tournament for the Conquistadors. Steven Espinoza, one of the top RBI hitters in the Western State Conference North Division, had three more to help Hancock College beat Ventura 9-7 in 11 innings at Ventura Saturday as the Bulldogs moved to 13-5 in the WSC North. The St. Joseph softball team, 14-2-1, split two non-league games at Camarillo. Taylor Mediano had three hits and two RBIs in the St. Joseph win. Charlie Escobedo pitched a complete game and helped herself by driving in two runs. Sign up to receive headlines in your inbox. Breaking news, local sports, daily headlines, local obituaries, weather, local offers click to sign up. I liked her answers. Before the Yukon Iowa National Women's Semi-Final in the NCAA Tournament, a reporter at a press conference asked All Everything Yukon Redshirt Junior Page Bookers about going up against All Everything Iowa Senior Caitlin Clark, a record-setting scorer who was widely considered the best player in women's college basketball. Clark is the projected overall number one pick, by the Indiana Fever, in the upcoming WNBA draft. Booker's smiled slightly and said that while others, the media in particular, might dwell on the one-on-one -on -one matchup, a lot of the game was about the other players. Indeed, I counted on one hand the times Clark and Booker's actually guarded each other. 